Hello, I'm Jared, a technical customer service specialist here at the AWS office in Dublin, Ireland. Today, I'm going to show you how to launch an Amazon EC2 Windows instance that is covered under the AWS free tier. Let's get started. Note that for the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud service, the AWS free tier covers 750 cumulative hours of usage and 30 gigabyte months of storage per month for a Windows T2 Micro or T3 Micro instance, depending upon the region, and a Linux or HEL or SLES T2 Micro or T3 Micro instance, depending upon the region. This video covers launching an AWS free tier eligible Windows instance. Open the Amazon EC2 console. In the Launch Instance section, choose Launch Instance. For name and tags, enter a name for the instance and then add a tag to your instance. Here we see there is already one tag created for resources instances and we can create up to 29 more tags. For more information on tags, view the AWS documentation, tag your Amazon EC2 resources from the link in the description. For application and OS images, Amazon machine image, choose Windows. Then select an Amazon machine image, AMI, labeled as free tier eligible. For instance type, select an instance type that's labeled free tier eligible. As an optional step, for key pair login, choose an existing key pair or create a new key pair. For now, let's proceed without a key pair. However, it's best practice that you create a key pair for added instance security. Note, for more information on creating a key pair for your instance, View the AWS documentation, Amazon EC2 key pairs and Windows instances from the link in the description. For network settings, configure a security group that allows only trusted traffic in and out. For now, let's choose my IP so that only our IP address can access this instance. For more information about configuring security groups, see the AWS documentation Amazon EC2 security groups for Windows instances from the link in the description. For configure storage, choose up to 30 gigabytes of storage and choose either general purpose SSD, GP2, or magnetic, standard. Currently, only 30 gigabytes of Amazon Elastic Block Store storage per account is covered under the free tier. Consider adding storage that you allocated to other instances on your account when adding storage to your instance. For advanced details, be sure that request bot instances is not selected. Then be sure that tenancy is set to shared, run a shared hardware instance. All other settings don't affect whether the instance's usage is covered by the free tier. You can configure other settings in advanced details as needed. In the summary, review your configuration. If it matches your specifications, then choose Launch Instance. To see your newly created instance, click on View All Instances. And now you know how to launch an Amazon EC2 Windows instance that is covered under the AWS free tier. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.